Welcome to another video. In today's video, I will be doing a what I eat in a day. Sorry, my voice is still croaky because I'm still waking up, but it will get better, I promise you. It's just how it is in the morning. Anyway, so the first thing I'm going to do is make myself a chai latte. I've been really into chai lattes lately. No, that's a lie. I've always been into chai lattes. It's just that lately I have been making it myself. And by making it, I mean like how I make tea. You put the chai filter bag in there, boil it, you fish out the bag, and then you put milk on top. And that's literally how I make chai. <laughs> Does anyone feel like when you drink tea or anything really hot in the morning, it tastes like a warm hug? This tastes like it. I don't know if you can see, but like, look at this. And my pimple left a scar, and my under eyes are like so bad. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I look pretty knackered, pretty awful, but I mean. It is what it is when you're back in the 9 to 5 life for a little bit. This is a pretty realistic, you know, morning for me. I literally do nothing for the first like hour and a bit and then I decide what I want to do and what I want to eat after that. A lot of people ask if I diet or if I do anything extreme and the answer is no. I don't. I just eat whatever I'm craving. And I just eat things in moderation. Sometimes not even in moderation to be very honest, but I try to eat in moderation if I can. So yeah, that's really what I do. I just eat whatever um, I'm craving. And I think I have some leftover fried rice that I'm gonna eat. I rarely actually eat breakfast. So usually when I make a drink like chai latte, for example, that's like literally my breakfast. Sometimes I'll do a smoothie, but not today. I don't feel like it today. <laughs> so, so yeah. Don't even bother waiting for the water to boil. I just firstly put the seaweed in and then I put in the dashi. Eventually when the water does come to a boil, it just kind of like melts and the seaweed needs water to hydrate anyways, so it will expand in the water. So it doesn't really hurt to put them in first. Also, it's kind of like a way to just save time, I guess. So yeah, um, next up is the fried rice. So while the water is boiling, I'm just going to reheat the fri fried rice. I actually don't have a microwave at home, so I just have to reheat things the old fashioned way. And I actually prefer that over a microwave anyways. This part is pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory, but yeah, this is what I do. This is basically just leftovers of what I ate yesterday, but you know what? I'm tired. I worked yesterday, so I don't really have time to like keep cooking every day. So this is like the perfect leftover meal for me, honestly. So yeah. Alright, lunch is served. I'm starving, so I'm really keen to dig in. I got my one leg up because the camera in me. But yeah, this is it. And yes, I eat from the pan just because it keeps it a lot hotter and so it tastes a lot better. It's kind of like a clay pot, I guess. That's why it's yours. Haha. Mmm. Mmm. I got the miso soup. Mmm. I'm happy. <laughs> 
You guys, we've hit a mini crisis. I just realized that I don't have too many things in my pantry. So I think it's time that I need to do a mini grocery run. So I might head into the city to do that. But what I did find was a little treasure trove. And that is the Savoy. Savoy is like the best like thing ever if you're Australian, I guess. It's just like a simple like crackers kind of thing. And it tastes so good and you can eat it with cheese or hummus. But because I've got nothing else, I'm just eating it by itself. It's like 3.17 at the moment. So usually this is like snack time for me. Mm, I don't have kimchi either, so I kind of need kimchi for for um, dinner as well. just eat the yogurt that's on the lid. I used to do it as a kid and it's carried with me all throughout adulthood. Mm. It's also a waste to throw it out. Cheers! Mm. Wow that kick of cinnamon tastes so good. It's like a mini chai smoothie. Today's theme is chai. <laughs> I don't know why. Hey that rhymes. I'm just gonna drink and read my book, The Wind Up Bird Chronicle, that I've been reading for almost a year now. I keep reading like so many different books um, and this is one that I've yet to finish. Um, and I'm currently reading like three at a time. So I'm gonna try and finish this before this month, I guess. Um, and yeah, just gonna chill before I go. It's like four o'clock now and I really should go but this book is so good. There's a lot of nuances about life that is symbolic and thought-provoking so I highly encourage anyone who is into listening to stories but having a profound sense of meaning or purpose about life then this might be a good read for you. So I'm gonna head off now before stores close because I really want to get a diary as well. It's 2021 and I freaking haven't gotten a diary so yeah let's go soon. <laughs> hey guys so change of plans I hope you can hear me but I am at a restaurant because I'm meeting up with a friend last minute to catch up for dinner so I'll show you guys what I eat real soon but I'm at a Malaysian Singaporean restaurant called Mama because I've been craving Singaporean lately, so yes, I'm very excited. I'm just waiting for my friends so that we can order and then, um, yeah, chat and hang out. <laughs> wow, yum! Sorry, the audio here was pretty terrible. But as you can see, I'm just basically eating my roti. It was what I've been craving for a really long time ever since I left Singapore. So this was like the perfect, you know, um, food to, I guess, get rid of that craving. And the egg roti was even better. So I left with a full stomach and I ended up at this Korean uh, grocery store where I got some kimchi. And then I was just looking around the store just checking to see if I wanted any snacks but it was kind of pricey so I didn't leave with anything else besides what I wanted which was the kimchi I came here to get kimchi but I'm just browsing because there's so much like candy stuff so yeah I am home 
home and I guess that's really what I ate today. I will be snacking for the rest of the day and probably making another smoothie but you guys know the drill for that. It's literally just milk and a bunch of fruits and stuff so I got some berries on my way home. I've just got a few lessons that I'm going to be teaching, um, some online classes so that will keep me busy and at the moment I'm just keeping hydrated because I'm so thirsty. Mm. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't make anything for dinner, I was supposed to but I ended up just going to eat out and then spontaneously and then I grabbed some groceries on the way home like some frozen berries and some kimchi on the way home. So if you guys would like to see this again, I'll probably do a proper one next time where I make more things because I don't really make much today. I just kind of reheated things and then went out. But this is realistically, this is what I ate today. So yeah, I am probably just going to head off now. I will see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.